Hi guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. Today I'm going to be reviewing Under the Sun by Lottie Morgag. I got this book from Pan Macmillan, South Africa in exchange for an honest review. This is a Picador proof copy and it gets published on the 13th of July 2017. Lottie Morgag is the highly acclaimed author of Kiss Me First, which is about to be made into a Netflix and E4 TV show. This book is about a girl called Anna who moves to Spain with her artist boyfriend, Michael. She buys this beautiful finger for them, which she redecorates into what she believes would be their ideal home. Michael appears to contribute absolutely nothing. Straight from the start, Anna's character is constantly belittled and made to be inferior to absolutely everyone else around her. While her friends and family believe that she's living the absolute dream in Spain, the reality is that she's living a nightmare and her entire life is falling apart, her relationship is over. When Michael leaves her with little more than a note goodbye, she's left alone to pick up the pieces with this finger she just bought. Europe's right in the middle of this horrible financial crisis, so she decides to rent out her finger to a local businessman called Simon. She moves to this town full of expats called Maria, where she starts this affair with an older man to boost her shattered confidence. She rents this tiny little apartment above from a bar that she runs. She almost instantly regrets renting the Finca to Simon because straight away strange things start to happen. This young African boy comes to collect the keys from her from her bar and she's led to believe that Simon could be hosting a bunch of illegal immigrants in her home. Furthermore, when a body washes up onto the shore, she really believes that Simon has something to do with it and she needs to try and figure out how she can prove it. Being short of cash, Anna is basically trapped in Spain and she will do pretty much anything to try and find a way to escape and get home, but she's not really sure where home is, is anymore. I found Anna's character to be really weak and stupid. The way that she handled her financial situation was ridiculous and arrogant. I didn't connect with her character at all and the only actual time that I found her somewhat enjoyable was a scene, it's not a spoiler, don't worry, but almost from the very beginning when before her boyfriend leaves her, they, her and her boyfriend are hosting this dinner party for two of their friends, Kurt and Farah, and Farah and Michael are talking behind closed doors and Farah basically says to Michael, I'm not really sure what Anna brings to the table and she just loses it and she screams, I bought the fucking table! And obviously Michael loses her after that, but I just found that to be so funny. This book just wasn't what I expected it to be. I kind of expected it to be a thriller and then I almost thought that when I started reading it I thought oh maybe it's going to be a bit of a love story, but it was neither and I actually really am struggling to categorize it. Although it sounds like a lot might happen in this book, not a lot actually did happen and it just wasn't gripping. I felt like it was losing a certain spark. To me, Under the Sun was like building up like a wave and then it just didn't form properly and it fell flat. However, this book did do something priceless for me. It reminded me of the beauty that Spain has. It reminded me of the small things that I used to love about a country that I lived in for a year and that became my nightmare. I've been so bitter about Spain since I left because, you know, my best friend and lover cheated on me with eight women and I ran away throwing what I could into a suitcase and fleeing the country. This book had me nostalgic under my winter blankets for warm summery days in Spain. Spilling glasses of cava, thick legs of jamón ready to be sliced, screwed, screwed onto a stand, paella on the beach, tapas with every drink, lobster bisque, the language. It was, it was just a lovely reminder of a place that I called home for a year and will never return to. Overall, I gave this book a two star review. It did do something for me that I will always appreciate it for, but it just fell flat. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I haven't read Lottie Morgag's other book, but I have heard how absolutely excellent it is. So I was hoping for something a little bit more than I got from this book. Thank you very much to Pan Macmillan South Africa for sending me a copy of this book in exchange for Honest Review, and I hope to work with you again in the future. If you are interested in this book, remember it does get released on the 13th of July 2017, so be sure to check out the bookstores when that date rolls around on the calendar. See you guys next time. Bye.